Good morning friends. Welcome back to Astrology Today and Tarot. My name is Mel Rose. This is the Tarot portion in the second half of my daily astrology vlog, which you can check out on my other channel, Astrology Today with Mel Rose. Over there you'll find a description of the day's astrology as I've spelled it out here. Here I will discuss the Tarot card that sits on the side of the page, and then I'll play another card that, in the context of the day's astrology, may just give us something more to think about. So let's get into it. The card that currently sits on the side of the page is the Five of Swords, and it is here for a reason. It's here because it corresponds in astrology with the first 10 days, or the first decan, of the sun's transit here in the land of Aquarius. Aquarius is an air sign. Swords in Tarot represent air element symbolism, and air element symbolism is about our thoughts, our plans, and how we communicate, how we talk to other people, how we get our point across, right? And so we come to the Five of Swords, and you know, Five is sort of a moment moment of breakdown in these in these cards uh, across the board as far as the suited cards go, and in Swords, it's sort of you see this person here who seems to be um, very happy with a victory that they've just won, right? They're, they're holding three of the swords. There are a couple of swords on the ground. You see a couple of people off in the distance looking kind of de dejected, right? But this, this guy's got the wind in his hair. He feels great. Uh, and, you know, there's this really positive feeling that we get sometimes when maybe we know a subject so well that nobody can possibly tell us anything about it. Uh, or perhaps we just feel like we've found a way to uh, sort of win every argument. We've got the caveat that we can pull out uh, in a sort of sneaky fashion and watch the watch the uh, realization dawn on the eyes of other people. And we get a certain satisfaction from just sort of um, n knowing something so well or being able to respond to something so well that we just shut other people down completely, right? But, you know, this is a kind of a hollow victory. It has a subtle consequence because, uh, you know, competition is also, uh, you know, competition is sort of the other side of the coin of cooperation, right? Um, so by eliminating cooper uh, eliminating competition, we we can create resentment in people who would rather have collaborated or cooperated with us. And then when we need a collaboration or somebody to help us out or cooperate with us, uh, there's nobody around because they don't like playing with us because we're a sore winner. <laughs> All right. So, you know, uh, be careful about this idea, especially when it comes to intellectual things in the sign of Aquarius, especially especially when it comes to like our higher ideals about things um, that we, you know, we may feel very right about what it is that we, that we believe in what we believe in and what we stand for. And that is correct. It's good to, um, you know, understand why you feel the way you feel um, or what, what, why you know, like how you know what you know, right? But uh, being able to come out on top of the conversation every time is not really going to work out for you. Okay, we have to weigh our ability to, um, you know, keep people around who will collaborate with us against our ability to just, you know, prove to everybody how right we are. And with that said, I'm going to turn this card over. Oh, I got the five of wands. Okay, so five and five. Uh, and like I said, this is often a moment of breakdown in these cards. The Five of Wands is just a moment of another sort of fight and fracas, right? Um, now, in this card, it's not like somebody stands victorious, though. It's just a lot of people sort of standing around wa waving their wands, sort of um, hitting above the belt. There's no blood being drawn here, you know. It's really more of a competition of wills. Or, or, you know, like, hey, my idea is better. No, my way of doing this is better, you know. Uh, but the thing about this is, you know, wands, this is fire element symbolism. It's very much uh, about wanting to make progress and move forward, about, about being active in our pursuit of our goals. And so the five of wands, while it looks like, you know, a very fiery thing to do to get to stop and get in this, this uh, entanglement with other people, 
um, it actually is slowing us down and, and distracting us from our course forward, right? So uh, this this is a warning. <laughs> this is a warning to me to just sort of, um, you know, it's kind of like when we say something on social media and um, people get into our comments to disagree with us or to tell us to tell us why we're wrong, um, and and we go in there and we argue with them about it, right? Well, you said what you said, right? Uh, presumably, you meant what you said. <laughs> you can read the comments and you know decide whether you agree with people or not. But really, to stick around and fight is not really is not doing anything for you, right? Just to just to like let those people drag you into some sort of competition of ideas or wills um, is not necessarily going to going to help you get on with your day. All right. So that's just an example, but you know, it, I think it's a pretty common example from the modern day. Uh, we want to be careful not to get uh, drawn into unnecessary battles with people. Everybody's got an opinion, everybody's got goals, everybody's got things that they're passionate about, and sometimes we're passionate about the same things without agreeing about anything. Oddly enough, that can really happen, okay? But we don't have to let that get us bogged down or slow us down or keep us from pursuing our goals. And where do I see this on the page today? Well, I'm so glad you asked because the sun is trying to Mars right now. And this trine is going to hang out with us for a little while. Maybe it'll sputter in and out, but uh, we're going we're gonna to discuss it more in depth um, in like a week or so. But the sun is just beginning to have this trine, trine position with Mars. They're both in air signs here. And so it's very intellectual. It's very much about the, the thoughts, the plans, and how we use our words. Um, and it's the sun and Mars are like good buddies, okay? They're very fiery personalities. Um, you know, the sun is very much just about... Uh, you know, what are we ambitious about? What What is it that we have our mindset on in the outer life? What kind of work are we doing in the world? What what kind of um, things are we seeking success in, right? Whereas, and whereas Mars is just very about, very much about taking initiative or taking advantage of moment, momentum, initiating action, using our body, using our, our passion and our drive to go after those things that we're ambitious about, to go about, to, to go after those things that we're seeking success in. So these two go hand in hand. They work really well together, and especially with that nice trine, that green line, that trine vibration between them. That trine aspect is is the, the most positive possible functioning. Okay. It's very easy. It's almost as though we are blessed when we, at, at this time, when we are taking action on the things that we seek, seek success in, okay? And then we have them balanced out here by this sextile to Jupiter on both ends. Now, Jupiter is our planet for uh, bigger, better things. Jupiter is our good fortune and and our desire to grow, to expand, to get that higher education, to go travel the world or uh, you know, do do a bigger, a higher level of business than we're doing, that kind of thing. So uh, it's all very much about our growth, um, growing ourselves, growing our experience of what we can be, do, and have through our interaction with the world. So that's, that's very supportive in those sextile vibrations. Sextile vibrations are positive, they are cooperative, and they, they help us generate something new. So um, we are generating very good things for ourselves. We're generating good fortune for ourselves. We're generating expanded opportunities for ourselves at this time when we are courageous and we take action on what it is that we want success on. So um, that's not that's not a five of wands vibe, <laughs> okay? It is very wands, okay? It's very much about what we're driven and passionate about. Um, but I just want to point out that that is sort of the antithesis of this, okay? Uh, what I'm what I'm not seeing on on the page in terms of uh, of stopping to fight <laughs> is this beautiful trine supported by these sextiles here. Um, who is stopping to fight? Well, you know, Mercury is um, Mercury is quincunx to Mars here. And in this condition, and I had this experience myself just yesterday morning, um, 
in this condition, we have this, we have this uh, sense of urgency, even when there isn't necessarily a sense of urgency. We feel like we got to push to get ahead. We feel like we have to uh, hurry, maybe. I felt like, I felt like I was in a hurry. I felt like I had too many things to do at one time, and there was this one specific thing I really wanted to get done, and I didn't have everything I needed for it. And I was waiting for somebody to show up that I knew had what I needed for it, um, and I got impatient, and I was just about to just leave and go across the street to the store to get what I needed. And as I was walking out of my workplace to go get what I needed, that person I was waiting for showed up with the stuff I needed. So, um, and, and so, you know, that was my lesson, like, don't get in a hurry, don't get ahead of yourself, okay? Uh, keep moving with the pace of things. And moving with the pace of things, that doesn't mean allowing yourself get, to get to, to get bogged down in a fight or a fracas about something you're passionate about. But it also, uh, it does mean like, um, you know, if there's something that's slowing you down, if there's something that you know is going to happen, but you're, but you're, it's not happening at the pace you're ready for it to happen. You feel like you're in a hurry. Remember your grounding practice. Try to come back into the moment. Try to recognize what's happening right around you. Um, and, and to be a little patient with the pace of things because they are picking up. The pace is picking up, but we might still want to be getting ahead of ourselves. And the other warning with that is, you know, be careful out there in traffic and just dealing with people. Okay. We want to, uh, we want to not try to get ahead too quickly and, and cause ourselves a problem. Right. Okay. The five, <laughs> the two fives together. I mean, wow. <laughs> you know, win at all costs or get slowed down in a fight. Um, uh, I, I perceive a third option where we just don't um, worry about competing. Um, competing is not always the most important thing. And like I said earlier, competition is the flip side of cooperation, all right? They're, they're two very similar things. We're working together one way or another. If you think about it, you know, you see two teams on a field playing a game they are competing with one another but they are also cooperating with their teammates and they are cooperating with the opposing team to bring us a game right <laughs> so uh so there is a cooperation that is implied here um you know i'm just gonna say be willing to cooperate at this time uh we are very self-motivated right now and we may uh, behave in really selfish ways that either cause us to act in ways that alienate people from us or cause us to act in ways that, you know, uh, slow us down. Um, and we, we just really want to be in forward motion at this time. So, um, you know, see the opportunity to be competitive with somebody and ask yourself if it's really worth it at this time, if it's really necessary to try to establish your dominance in any, in any subject or any situation or whether it would be better just to, uh, you know, take care of your own business and not worry about c competing with other people. That's what's coming up for me here. And I think that's all I have to say about it today, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate your presence here. My name is Mel Rose, and I'll see you all back here tomorrow for more Astrology Today and Tarot.